Well, Shay, it's a new position for you at Wolves. Why don't you tell us a, a little bit more about it? Yeah, so the loans department is myself and the loan analyst in um, Joe Stevenson. It used to be Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. I mean, Jamie that left us. But um, yeah, the, the department is growing. Yeah, like I said, there's two of us. But um, what we do basically is to sort of um, look after the lads that are away from the football club that still still our players. Uh, we understand that they, I mean, the, the football industry is such that um, not every player will play for, for their parent club. Some need that development initially to go and go out to a different club, different environment to go and learn, to go and learn the trade. Some will come back, some will find their, find their, their exit route from, from that viewpoint. So we, my job really is just to look after those players, make sure they have all the right um, um, amenities they need, make sure the accommodations, the accommodations are right, make sure transportation, everything is okay so that they can be comfortable enough to sort of uh, develop and um, come back to the football club if, if need be. Because Wolves uh, as a club has seen an incredible amount of transformation and growth over the last two years. How, how has that affected the, the, the loan market for, from this club? Uh, you'll agree with me, the, the, the growth I mean, within the football club has been very, very rapid in, in the last um, 12 months, 16 18 months, if you like, and um, as a club, we need to, as an academy, as a football club, generally, we need to sort of um, adapt to that growth, and that's why this role was, was created, because all of a sudden, we are attracting a lot of very, very good players that are not ready to play for our first team yet, and then we need development to, to go out. Last season, we, I mean, we, we had 24 players out on loan, which is, which is a lot. Now, we just don't leave those players to go and just go and get on with it and then come back and see whether they fit in. Someone needs to be looking after them, making sure they have all the things they need. And again, that's what, that's what I do. Because going out on loan isn't necessarily just about minutes on the pitch. There's a, there's a lot more to it than that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for diff people go out for different reasons. For, for a young player, I mean, that, that will be going out on loan for the very first time. You, you, it might not be just to play football. Yes, the f if the football comes with it, it will be a bonus. But again, it's going away from this beautiful environment that we've created. Some of these boys have been here for, for 10 years, 8 years, and this is all they know. Now, when you're sending them to a League 1 and League 2 side at times, with, the, with respect, they haven't got all the facilities we've got. It can be, it can be a shocking experience for, for them at times. So go into that environment, go into a first environment, go and probably sometimes wash your own kit and wash your own boots, which is that we, we do everything for them around here. And you, 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 you learn life skills, you learn to be in a first environment. It might be the first loan for a lot of them. So for, for, from that viewpoint, a lot of our first loans are disasters because they, are just, they just can't cope with that environment. So again, now the second loan, the third loan might be for footballing reason. Now you've learned how to be in a first team environment, can you then go and learn to play football and let's see if you're good enough to come back and play for Wolves. Because one of the key, the key points or key strategies behind it is, is the continued development of players and whether that's here or with another club, they will continue to see that, that development. Absolutely, I think that's very, very essential. Again, you will agree with me, the club has changed, like I said earlier, and um, the, the, the likes of Paul Lambert came in, Kenny, Kenny Jacket came in, and all of a sudden it's no, no, everything has ch changed from how we used to be up, on, um, up, on, me, up until now. We had the same number of players that we had, of course, with a few additions. Those players now may not suit the way we play. A very, very good right back, uh, uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers, a few years ago, might not necessarily be. Uh, I'm looking for the right word there. Might not necessarily be useful for the club at the moment, permit me to use that word. Now the wing backs, if can you go forward and backwards, I mean, with the same space, with the same pace. So for now, from, from that viewpoint, how do we, if these players cannot play for us, how do we then create value for them? How do we give them, get, get them out, give them an opportunity to go and continue their development, probably lend the role if they're good enough, or actually give them an exit route elsewhere? Because even this season, there's a number of Wolves players that have seen successful periods out on loan, like Connor Johnson, Brighton Bakari, Christian Hurt, Connor Ronan, they've all enjoyed relatively successful loan spells. Yes, so I mean, on the back end of thinking about how we, how we look after these players, we, we, we thought um, um, before now we've been sending them to League One, League Two uh, sides and the style of play doesn't suit the kind of players we, we have, again with respect. Uh, we started looking out, outside of the country, looking at Slovakia, looking at Poland, we're looking at Belgium, to go and give these boys an experience, to go and learn to sort of live outside of England a little bit, go and learn the culture as well as go and play football because the style of play suits a lot of the players we're recruiting.
Michael Oronon is a great example. Brighton Obakari, of course, he's, um, he's play, he played for Coventry, went to Kilmarnock, they didn't play an awful lot, which goes back to what I said earlier about that first loan is go and learn to be in, in the first team environment, go and learn to sort of cope with a lot of other things. He came back in January, sent him to Coventry, and it's been, it's been unbelievable since then. Since then, played 12 games, scored six goals, your best player in the team in my in my, my opinion, Conor Ronan is in Slovakia. He didn't want to go initially. We had it took a little bit of convincing. You know, he's playing every week, played 90 minutes, man on the match a few times. I mean, so it's 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 working well. It's how you sell it to the players initially to them have them to buy in that actually we're not forgetting you there. We're not just sending you there and saying goodbye. We're going to monitor you. We're going to help you through the process and we're going to help you develop. And another part of your role is that continued communication with the players. So you're talking to them the whole time they're out there find out how they're getting on and giving them encouragement? I think that's important because, I mean, it's, it's very, it can be very, very easy to say, well, go out on loan and, well, let's, let's see what, see you in six months or see you at the end of the season. But someone needs to be there communicating to them, telling them what the club is thinking about them, making sure that they know that actually we value them or we, we're monitoring what they're doing. When they play, they get to know. When they, did, when they, when they have not played well, we let them know as well. We let them know all the developmental points they need to sort of look into. We speak to the managers, we speak to the sporting directors over there, monitor their progress, how they're doing, and the boys know that as well. So the, there is that link, there's that connection, and the boys have benefited, have benefited immensely from it. And what does the, the future look like for, for Wolves' loan landscape going forward? How, how do you envision any change, or how do you see the next few seasons going? I think it's only going to get better. I mean, the, the, the players we're producing now, with, with what they're doing at the, in, the, in, in the loan market at the moment, is saying to a lot of people that, well, Wolves are doing something special. I mean, as a football club, again, going back to the 23s, I just gained promotion into the Premier League itself. It shows we, we're having some very, very good players. And it's going to be a role reversal now. Back in the day, we used to sort of knock on the door of clubs and say, well, can you, take, can you, look, at, can you look at this last for a Just have, have him for a week. He's a good player. Now people are coming to us now to then ask, well, I want that player, I want that player. Now we are in the driving seat and we're asking them the right question. Is he going to play? These are the targets for the players and we begin to have those conversations now and it can only get better.